RF man here. Uh, tonight I just want to make a brief video on my dual LD MOS amplifier. Probably post this out on Facebook. I'm using my uh, usual setup. I got my striker radio set on channel 20, the center of the 11 meter band, also the center of the high frequency band. So this is a, a 10 meter radio and also transmits on 11 meters. Okay, then I got my dual LD MOS amplifier. Uh, this is my test palette. So what you see uh, on top of the board there is you see these two hold down clamps that I use to fasten and secure my LD MOS transistors. So I use this as a test palette. Uh, I'm using my normal switching power supplies. You can see them down there. Also my 1500 watt dummy load. And I'm using my Bird 43 line section 2500 watt slug. And I've got the watt meter set up here remotely. It does have a bird authentic genuine bird peaking kit in it so we'll be looking at the uh, dead key rms which i'll set to about 1500 you go a little bit higher but we'll keep it there and then we'll look at the pep okay so let's go ahead and uh, key up and uh, first thing we'll take a look at drawing uh, almost 40 amps there and here's the uh, dead key. Looks like a little over 15. And then we'll go ahead and put the peaking kit on. And we'll modulate. First you can see that it's calibrated right I got the peaking kit on but I'm not modulating so it should go back to the RMS value and then audio check 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 audio audio and you can see I'm pegging my meter we're reading the top scale here 2500 watts and we peg the meter so doing about 3,000. So I just wanted to quickly demonstrate that. And uh, these are available for sale. So if anybody's interested, there's going to be some contact information at the bottom of the video. Again, RF Man. Thank you.